We've long been told that eating fat makes us fat, but it's time to debunk that myth. A growing body of research now proves that eating the right kinds of dietary fat offers immense health and weight loss benefits. In this video, we're going to give you the lowdown on fat, what you need to know, and how much you should eat to maximize your health and performance. First off, what are fats? Fats are also known as fatty acids. Fats in our body are made up of three molecules joined together. This three molecule structure is called a triglyceride. Most of the fat we need is made by our bodies, but there are some fats our bodies cannot make. We can only get these fats by eating them. These fats are called essential fats because it is essential that we get them from food. Essential fats include omega-3 fats, which are found in foods such as fish and flaxseed, and omega-6 fats, which are found in foods such as nuts, seeds, and corn oil. In living things, fat has basically two main roles, regulates body temperature and stores energy. There are two major fat categories, saturated and unsaturated. Saturated fats, although important for our bodies to function, are the ones thought to contribute to negative health outcomes, while unsaturated fats are the types usually considered healthy. Unsaturated fats are further broken down and categorized based on their chemical structure into monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats. Polyunsaturated fats are the most beneficial for our health, although monounsaturated fats are more common in the Western diet. Let's talk about them briefly and their benefits. Monounsaturated fats. These fats are important for skin and nervous system health, among other benefits. They help keep our cells healthy and can lower LDL or bad cholesterol. You can obtain these heart healthy fats from cooking oils, nuts, seeds, and other foods. Polyunsaturated fats. These fats contain a different chemical structure than monounsaturated fats and also can help lower bad cholesterol in addition to boosting brain health and promoting healthy cell growth. You might have also heard of the terms omega-3 or omega-6 fatty acids, which fall into the polyunsaturated category. Beyond the heart health benefits, omega-3 fatty acids have been shown to reduce the inflammatory response, which has great health implications. Saturated fats. Diets high in saturated fat and trans fat have been linked to health problems. However, they are present in so many foods that it would be almost impossible to avoid them completely so the recommendation is to limit intake of these types of fats while eating more omega-3 fatty acids. Our body is able to produce the saturated fats that it needs for structure and function, so for this reason, we don't need to obtain any from our diet. Although many delicious foods are high in saturated fat, ice cream, butter, processed meats, it's best to limit them as much as possible. So why do you need fats? First off, fats supply a ton of energy. It packs nine calories per gram compared to four calories in every gram of protein or carbohydrate. But this macro does so much more than just supply energy. Fat is a basic component of the cell membrane throughout our bodies, making it essential for cellular health and hormone production. Diets that restrict fat often see huge drops in sex hormones like testosterone one thing you don't want if you're training for performance or fat loss. How much fats should you eat for a healthy diet? How much fat should we include in our diet? According to the Dietary Guidelines for Americans, fats should make up 20 to 35% of our total daily calorie intake. For those attempting to lose body fat, 0.5 to 1 gram per kilogram of fat should be consumed per day to avoid essential fatty acid deficiency. For someone who weighs 68 kilograms, this would equate to 34 to 68 grams of fat per day. Limit saturated fats. You don't need to avoid all saturated fats completely, forever, but you should strive to minimize them in your diet as much as possible. This fat can contribute to the hardening of your arteries as well as high total cholesterol levels. Over time, a diet high in saturated fats can elevate your risk of heart disease and stroke. If you haven't got the point yet, here are a few more reasons why you should be eating fat. Eating fat boosts your sports performance. We've all been trained to believe that if you want to enhance your sports performance, you need to carb load. Eat that big bowl of pasta before a race to make sure you top up your muscle glycogen stores so you don't hit the wall. You can store up to 2,000 calories of carbs as glycogen in your muscles, 
but the average lean athlete has about 40,000 calories of energy stored as fat. Wouldn't it be great if you could switch from carb burning to fat burning? Many scientists have studied high fat, low carb diets for athletes and believe that fat adapted athletes have an advantage over non fat adapted athletes. Eating fat gives you beautiful skin, hair, and nails. Ever wonder how horse trainers get horses to have beautiful, shiny coats? They give them flax seeds, which are a rich source of omega-3 fats. A lack of omega-3 fats in your diet from fish or plant sources can cause significant health problems. Most people slather creams, lotions, and potions on dry skin, put on many hair products to bring their hair back to life. But most of our outside problems come from the inside. Omega-3 deficiency can cause dry, itchy, flaky, even discolored skin. Eating fat helps your love life. Like I said previously, your sex hormones are produced from cholesterol in the body. For most men, cutting out the carbs and boosting fats can be an easy way to increase testosterone. Low-fat diets can cause women to stop menstruating or to experience irregular, heavy periods and infertility. Really simply, eat less sugar and eat more fat. You'll feel amazing. To wrap up, don't be afraid to eat fat. Become aware of the type of fats in your go-to snacks and meals and see if you can mix it up to be healthier. Look to nuts and dried fruit for a snack instead of cookies and candy, which are often laden with saturated fat and trans fat. Once you become aware and knowledgeable about what you're putting in your mouth, the rest will fall into place. That wraps up the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay notified about our uploads. I'll see you next time. Till then, peace out.